Hey FlossTube, it's Lauren. Um, coming to you super late for a September update, um, so I apologize about that. I have been extraordinarily busy um, the past month just with work. My boss is about to go out for surgery, and so um, I'm going to be a little bit of a lone ranger. Um, so lots of things to do at work, lots of things just in family. We have lots of birthdays, celebrations, and things like that. So a lot of my weekends have been taken up. So um, I'm coming to you guys a little late to film. So, um, and I have a lot to go over today. We're gonna look at, I have some whips. I have a new start. I have a ton of haul ton of haul and then I kind of want to spend this video and actually go over something a little bit different with you guys um, I want to talk about needles because that has been something that I've been kind of exploring with and kind of trying different needles and stuff so I want to give you a little bit of my experience I'm gonna do that at the very end of the video because a lot of you guys probably have a needle that you really like and use and enjoy um, but some of you guys that are newer to stitching or haven't had the time to kind of experiment around a little bit I just kind of want to tell you a little bit about kind of what I found um, from shopping online from reading different posts on Facebook etc so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so let's go through whips so um, I really spent a lot of time focusing on um, the pieces that I have due for other people my goal is to actually finish up the pieces that I'm giving away to my parents and um, to my friend Sarah um, and Matthew I want to finish their pieces by the end of the year so that um, I can really start focusing on pieces kind of for myself, for my home, um, starting in 2017. So, the first one I have to show you is my Precious Moments. And um, this bag here is from Deanna's Frame and Storage. I went um, over her store a little bit in my last video. And let me show you. I got a little bit of progress done on this. I didn't spend a ton of time. Wow, that is really hard to get out. I have a ton of stuff in there. Let me take the pattern off. Obviously, I was very prepared for this. Let me move the thread out of the way. Ta-da! And the grime guard that I have is from Nell from Little Yellow House Crafts. My two needle minders are from Nifty Needle Nannies. And there you see... So I finished the deer. Um, I did the back stitch on him already, and then I kind of have started on the grass area down here. So excited I'm done stitching with brown, for sure. So you can see that. So I plan to do a little bit of progress as I get bored and tired of my other whips. This is kind of the one that I pull out. Um, this is going to be a gift for my parents, and for those of you who have not seen the pattern, this is what the pattern is eventually going to look like. This pattern is by Gloria and Pat, and it is called Dear Friends, and it's Precious Moments number 30. So that's it with that. My next one is going to be my watercolor wreath by Maria Demina. I think that's how you pronounce your last name. Sorry, Maria, if I pronounced that incorrectly. Her store is Little Yellow House Crafts on Etsy is where the pattern is available. And um, I am doing this for a friend of mine for their wedding. And I do still have this on the Q-snap. Actually, let me pull this off because you're not gonna be able to see it. Um, see all of it still on the Q-snap. Sorry about that. I'm pretty good at getting these off pretty quickly. And I will link her information to her store down below. And this is what I have. I got a ton done this month. On that. It's really beautiful. I love the colors. I have, um, just so you can see, I spent a lot of time this month working on this second flower here and I have like another flower there. I've got to finish up the leaf that's right here and then I will actually start working on the wreath part. And my milk and cookies needle minder is from Nifty Needle Nannies. So that is all I have on that one. Let me see if I can pull up for those of you who haven't seen it. 
You can pull up a picture really quickly of what the pattern will look like. Ooh, sorry for the glare. Whoop. That's what it'll look like when it's complete. Really pretty. Um, lots of blended colors in this, but I actually like the blended colors. I think it adds a lot of depth and dimension and stuff to the piece, so I've really, really been pleased with it. Um, considering how much I've stitched on it, it's actually stitched up. I feel like it's stitched up pretty quickly, so um, I'm really excited. I have to have that one done. Obviously, their wedding is in January, so I have to have that one done by... Um, by December, my goal is to have that finished by November so that I can get it framed, move on, still work my precious moments, and kind of wrap that stuff up for the year. So that's where I am with that. Um, my third whip that I have is Jack, which is a Mill Hill kit. I did not do anything on that this month. It has kind of fallen to the wayside, um, and you'll kind of see why, but um, I just have some other projects and stuff that I want to work on right now, so he's just sitting in the back. I'm not even going to show him just because um, he's he doesn't have anything done on him and he really hasn't had anything on him to start so um, I'm going to kind of set him aside. The next thing that I have is a new start. This is another bag from Deanna's Frame and Storage and it's the little sparkly bumblebees and um, this pattern is one that um, I kind of saw and jumped on the bandwagon with. This is the Tempting Tangles Sal and for those of you I've never for those of you who have never done a sal, I've never done a sal either, and I've always been afraid that it's going to take up a lot of my stitching time um, and that it's going to interfere with the other progress that I want to do. Well, this one, actually, it's a digital pattern um, that you can get. All you have to do, and you can print it out, um, is you pay $5. I will link the information below to the sal so you know exactly what you need to do. Um, and um, that one, um, what was I going to say? That one's only $5 to participate, and it's only got like nine colors of DMC. Um, you can do it all in DMC. Some people have chosen some over-dyed threads or some variegated threads to use, um, and so you can kind of make it your own. And each part is a 16-part series. It's coming out, it used to come out every three weeks. I think um, Deborah's changing it to do every two weeks now, um, and each section that she releases come in 31 by 31 squares. So they're very, very um, reasonable to do. I usually stitch up um, each part in about a day, and she's released two parts. She just released a second part yesterday. Um, as soon as I got it, had to go ahead and start stitching it. So this was a new start for me, but I felt like this was a really good way to participate in my first sal. So if you've never participated in a sal or interested in something that's going to take a little bit of time, um, that's not going to be so overwhelming to stitch each month, I highly suggest this. And I just use this with... Um, fabrics from my stash. Oh, there you go. This is, I'm using 28 count mushroom Lugana on this project. And I actually messed up. I need to go back today. I can't figure out where I messed up in my counting, but I've got to go back and look. I know I messed up a small piece of my counting, so um, good so you guys can see it. So, oh, the camera. So this piece here with the flowers, that is part one. Part two is over here with the second flower, and this is actually where I messed up this green stem. There's something I messed up with the counting on that. Um, but it's stitching up really beautifully. I am not using the colors that are um, recommended. I use something, just to match something a little bit better in my house, I use some colors that were a little bit richer and more jewel toned. Um, but this is called the Welcome Sal from Tempting Tangles. I've got a little donut needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And like I said, this is on 28 count Mushroom Lugana 2 over 2. So, I thought it was really cute. Um, and you can see the piece of fabric I have is not very big. It stitches up in a square. I think I'm using my, I believe this is 15 by 15 is the square that I cut out for this. Um, but it's stitching up really nicely. It's kind of fun to kind of see everybody, um, the different flosses that they chose and the different way that they're stitching it up. Um, there are so many, I really, really debated stitching this with, um, Overdyed floss with classic color works. Um, I had all the colors picked out, I was ready to buy, and then all of a sudden I just kind of went, 
you know, I think I should probably just use a DMC that I have. Um, this is something that's kind of for fun. And so I did convert the colors to colors, like I said, that fit a little bit more in my um, house. If you are interested in knowing what colors I use, you're more than welcome to comment down below and I can let you know. But I do also have a key right here. And you can kind of see these were the colors that I swapped out for. Um, never mind the this up here had to do with threads that I was pulling from another project. But um, those are actually the colors that I chose. And you can see there's not very many colors. There's no specialty stitches or anything in this. So like I said, if this is your first, um, if you want to get involved in a sal and you kind of want to jump on the bandwagon, this would be something really easy to do. And it's really quick because it stitches up really quickly. There's only been two parts that have been released. Like I said, part two was just released yesterday. It's only $5 to participate. This sal will wrap up in April of 2017. And now that I am looking at this, the design size is 124 by 124. And I did choose to cut my fabric 15 inches. Um, if you're working this on 32 count, I'm doing 28, but it says if you're working two threads on 32 count, it's going to be a seven and three quarter inch square um, is how big the design is going to be. So um, very reasonable in size. I feel like it's a lot of fun. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you engage in that. And like I said, I will try to link the information down below for you if you're interested. That is the Tempting Tangles Welcome Sal. And those are all of my whips. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to move on to haul. So um, I'm going to save the magazines for the end um, because some of you guys don't like those. Um, and I do have a special surprise in my haul. So stay tuned. Um, let's get started. Like I said, I have a ton of haul. So the first thing that I did was um, I went online. There's a seller um, on eBay that I always like that has a really, really good selection of cross-stitch stuff. And they have um, he has a really good selection of kind of the newest cross-stitch stuff at really reasonable prices. It always ships really quickly. I've had a really, really good experience with them before. Um, so if you're interested at looking at this buyer, it's Vallejo Sales Needle Craft Store. And you can see they are on, um, it looks like they're also on Amazon. Oop. I was going to show you the back of the card. There, they do a really, really good job. Um, and so I noticed that they were having a little bit of a sale, so I ended up buying... Um, buying some more pieces, one piece in particular. And so a few of the things fell in my basket because they'll do free shipping. I think if you buy over $50, I believe, and you can get up to $50 pretty quickly. So um, the first things that I got were um, some of the Jim Shore, which you guys know I love Jim Shore, the Mill Hill um, Snowman. So this one is Pinecone Snowman. And these are all Mill Hill kits that come with the perforated paper, the beads, and all the threads. This one is my favorite, Snowy Owl Snowman. And then this is Evergreen Snowman. My mom collects snowmen, so I thought those were really cute. I may just die if he ends up coming out with a penguin series because I collect penguin. So, mom does snowman, snowmen, I do penguins. Um, and then this is kind of something that fell, fell, in, fell in my basket. Um, this is a new um, Dimensions kit, which I love Dimensions um, kits. I love they come with the pre sorted threads. This one is called Afternoon in Province. This one is actually a design that you can do um, separately. It actually comes with two different designs. So it comes with this little vintage shop, which if you've watched any of my videos, I love, 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 love. Anything that has to do with like little shop windows. And then it also comes with this one, which is like a little bicycle. And it shows down there that you can frame them um, together or you can frame them individually. And um, like I mentioned, kit, it comes with everything that you need. So this one comes with... 18 count white Ada and comes with all the pre-sorted threads there. Now that I'm stitching on even weave a lot more, um, I'm not as excited when I see Ada, but 18 and count Ada I think is is really good. And on some of these pieces, like this is practically whoop, practically a full coverage piece. Um, so I feel like a stitching on the Ada will look just fine. And um, I feel like I can do, you know, maybe one of these pieces whatever they're small um, 
yeah, because each design is only six by six inches, so it's not very big. There's that, and then this is what I really wanted from Vallejo Sales. Tracy P was an enabler, and I saw that she had purchased this, and I just fell in love. This, by far, I think is going to be my first Mirabilia. Um, this is definitely one that I am going to do um, next, I think. This is kind of on my 2017 to-do. And this is um, a new pattern by Mirabilia, which is called Blossom Goddess. If you haven't seen it, this is what she looks like. She's just beautiful. And there is a little inscription on the back. It says, let love take root and weave a garden of calm beauty with floss. So that is what she looks like. And then you can kind of see on the back, the one thing that I liked was these were all the different DMC colors. And the Karen Water Lilies, there's only one, and there's only three types of Mill Hill beads. So with Falego Sales, I think I bought her... Just put her back really quickly. I bought her and then I bought the bead pack that went with it. There's only three different kinds of beads. There's two, these two packages are the exact same color bead. So I bought the bead pack and then I did go on one, two, three stitch and I bought the, um, the Karen Water Lilies and this is in um, Hyacinth, which is really pretty. And that's showing up pretty true to color. It's kind of like this rusty, not rusty, but kind of muted purples and blues, kind of a dusty color. It's more so not rusty. So I went on and got the water lily. So um, I am basically ready to start this since I have a full collection of DMC threads. I'm ready to stitch this next year. So, and it's not a huge piece. So I've already been looking at fabrics. I haven't quite found one that I'm in love with yet. I would like to use a hand dyed fabric. So I am still on the search for that. So if you have any recommendations, please comment below. I would love to see them. Um, the next piece that I got, this was when I actually purchased on 123 Stitch. This was a design that I had in my um, wish list and it happened to be on sale. So of course I had to buy it. So this is a Jardin Privé design called Vivament Noel. Oh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. But I think he's really cute. It's got like a little snow globe. And Santa and reindeer. I think that's really cute. Little Christmas design. Kind of fun. And I think it would be a quick stitch. This is all in um, DMC. Um, the design area for those of you guys or the stitch count, if you want to know how big it is, it's 94 by 181. So it's actually, when I was looking at this, a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. So, kind of interesting. Well, get in there. Alright. Good on that. Okay, the next thing I got is um, a collection of things really that I just went to my LNS which is ABC Stitch Therapy in um, Houston, Texas and actually it might even I don't know if that's properly in Houston or if it's in spring but um, I go there a lot to kind of kit up some of my things there's actually another really great stitchy store across the street called Three Stitches and um, I went there to kit this up and I kind of jumped on the bandwagon. Um, I wanted to do something for next year. I'm kind of starting to think that I want to do, do a couple pieces that are larger for 2017, but I'd also like to do some really good small ones. And I want to practice doing things that I haven't done. So this year I stitched on Even Weave for the first time. Um, the next thing that I would like to do is I would really like to, to do specialty stitches and I would like to practice with Krennic and at some point I would also like to practice with linen. So these next purchases that I made um, have everything to do with that. Um, I kind of fell in love as I saw people stitching these on YouTube, which are the um, the Dinky Dyes designs, the, the um, seasonal samplers, their band samplers, and um, they're really, really beautiful, and it gives me an ability to practice some specialty stitches, but also to... Um, also to practice with some other things, too, and they have beading and Krennic and um, very good flosses, over dyed flosses, so... Um, the first one that I'm going to show you, if I can get it out of here, and I kind of slide it out a little bit so you can see, is the Winter Ice Sampler. 
So that is what it looks like when it's stitched. And the Lovely Array, she does a really, really great video on these. If you want to see a finished video on what they look like close up, they are um, very small. They're 56 by 155 on 28 count fabric. And um, I purchased these from, what was the name of that company? Mm. Trying to remember. What was the name? I don't remember the name, but it was kind of a stitchy store, I think, up on the north side of the United States. And um, they sold the um, silk packs. And so with each of these, I actually got the silk packs. So these are the three dinky dye silks. You can't see those very well in this light. But um, the dinky dyes. And then I did kit them up. So each of them I have kitted up. So I have the Krennics and the beads. All of them require Krennic beads the Dinky Dice silks, um, and then some of them have, like this one has, and you can sort of see here, some of these little Swarovski bicones. Um, so some of them do require that. They are not cheap <laughs> to kit up by far, but um, they were, they're really, really beautiful. So all the colors are awesome. I was really sad because the only thing that I was missing to kit up all four of these was one color of Krennic, which is, the, which is I think, the number, so either the number four braid or the number eight braid of the 002 of the gold. So um, I'm going to have to buy that later. But um, I was able to kit that up. And as you can kind of see, I am going to be using um, 28 Count Lugana in Whisper is the um, fabric that I am going to use for all of these, which is kind of like a neutral grayish um, brown color. Um, I kind of held it up with all the different glosses and stuff, and I liked it on that. So that is sampler number one. Sampler number two. And these should stitch up pretty quickly, like kind of what I was reading online. Most people were able to stitch these up in like one to two weeks. Probably take me a little bit longer since I've never done a lot of these specialty stitches. This is number two, which is a Spring Hearts sampler. And I will show you the... There are the three dinky dies for that. As you can see a little bit better, they're kind of baby soft colors. And then down at the bottom are the... This only required one pack of beads. Those are the two Krennic, and it is the number four braid of the 002 gold that I am missing. I am missing that for this, and that actually comes in two of the patterns. It has these little pearl beads that come on that one. Number three is going to be the Autumn Fire Sampler. And the pictures are really low quality on the front page, but the patterns are really great. So that's the Autumn Fire Sampler, and these are the Dinky Dyes and the rest of the beads and the Krennics. It's kind of an orange and a cat's eye color Krennic with gold beads. You can kind of see a little bit better. Can't see the Krennics there. I wish I remember the name of the store I got this from. It took a long time to get it in the mail. I'm gonna I'm gonna link it down below. I'm gonna go online and find it, um, find the store that I got these from, because um, I was able to get all four of the patterns, and then I was able to get each of the silk packs. And I think the silk packs I paid um, nine dollars, I believe, per pattern for each silk pack, and the patterns were pretty cheap. And then this last one is the Summer's Garden Gate Sampler, which I think is kind of my favorite thus far. And I'll also link the lovely array for video, for finished video of these down below if you're interested in that. And this is also missing the gold. This one also can't, is missing the, um, also has the gold Krennic, the 002, um, that I'll just have to order at a later time. And then these are the gold beads and the um, two Krennics. And then, like I said, I'm missing the 002. And this Krennic, you can't really tell, and this is kind of a light pink color. My light is really bad today. It's really overcast here. Okay, so that's all of those. The next thing is the build-up to kind of the finale of um, 
of stitchy stuff. So there was a pattern that went on Stash Unload. It was actually a kit, a Lizzie Kate kit that went for really, really cheap. And um, I instantly saw the pattern um, and fell in love with it. I have kind of a love-hate with Lizzie Kate. I Not love-hate, that's not the right word, but um, there are some of her patterns that I really, really love, and then some of them that I'm kind of like, oh, those are those are okay. Um, so I fell in love with this. I felt like this was a kit that would be something that I could quickly do, something that would be really, really cute to hang in my house. So um, I saw it online. I instantly then went on to a couple of different websites and asked to see if they had the pattern available and um, or had the kit available. And I, Cindy Sorley kind of responded. She said, well, if I have it, I'm only going to have the um, pattern and the charms. I'm not going to have the full kit. And so um, I went on eBay and I actually bought the pattern and the um, charms. But then Cindy Sorley came back and said, actually, I found a kit. And so she sent me the kit. So um, I actually have two of these. So what that means is that I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And I have been so blessed to have so many subscribers, so many wonderful, beautiful comments from a lot of you guys, words of encouragement and stuff, especially after my last video. So um, I would love to go ahead and give back to everybody out there. So the thing that I would like to do is um, I'm not going to majorly advertise the giveaway. But what I want you to do is if you have made it this far, which is at about 26 minutes, um, if you have made it this far through my video, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to comment down below. And um, the rules for this giveaway is that you have to be a subscriber. You have to be over the age of 18. If you are under the age of 18, and I'm going to need permission from your parents basically to ship it back out to you. And um, what was the other thing? Oh international. I am happy to ship this internationally. So for all of you subscribers who live overseas in Australia or the United Kingdom or Europe, I'm happy to ship this internationally. So um, I will be sending this to you and um, I'm going to show you guys what I got for myself and then I'm going to show you guys what you will get as the giveaway. So um, and what you all you need to do to enter is you will need to leave a comment down below and what I want to know, because this is the segment that we're going to go into after I finish with my haul, is I want to know what needle you, what needles do you use? Do you use the kit needles for your um, projects? Do you use, are you a, you know, diehard Bowen fan or John James fan or what size needle do you use and, um, you know, what type or brand or whatever do you use and, and why do you like it? Why does it work for you? I would love to know that um, as we go into our next segment, so please comment down below. I am going to close this probably, well, I will announce the winner probably on my next month's video. So it is the 26th of September right now. So what I'm going to do is I will probably close this Let me close this on the 16th of October. So it gives you a little less than a month to enter. Um, and by then, I should probably be working on my second video or we'll have my second video already finished. And I will announce the winner at that time. So um, so so happy that I can do this for you guys. And I'm super excited. So without further ado, let me show you kind of what, um, what I got and then what you guys will win. So this was the actual kit. And it is a kit by Lizzie Kate. And this is what I'm actually going to keep. The kit is called My Secret Garden. I could not find, for the life of me, anywhere on here where it actually said um, what year that this was put out. But um, I really love it. So this is what the pattern actually looks like. For those of you who are interested. And the thing that really appealed to me about it was I, I love the garden. I love the different colors. This is all done in um, over dyed floss or you can use DMC. Um, and it comes actually at, on this little gate. There are a few different charms. There's a little lock that goes here on the gate. And then over here is where the little key is. And what you do is you're supposed to hide that little key somewhere in the pattern. So you don't have to put it exactly there, um, but you can put it other places. And then this butterfly up here is also a charm. It's, it's actually, that's not a charm. That's a little button um, that you attach. And um, this kit came with the hand-dyed linen, came with the um, over-dyed floss. 
um, the button, the lock, the key, and it also came with a surprise gift. And um, let me show you guys what this linen looks like. And this was part of the reason that I actually wanted to get it was because it came with linen. Um, I never really wanted to buy linen to work on like a huge project for because I've never stitched on linen before. Um, so this is the linen that it actually comes on. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that pretty well. It's showing up a lot lighter than it is in person. It's kind of a... My husband calls it burlap. <laughs> it really kind of does look like burlap a little bit, but it's got a little bit more of a yellowish tint to it. But I thought that this would be a really um, good kind of first project for me to actually work with linen. And then these, I'm going to try and show, are the little charms. There's the little lock. Right, so there you go. You can see the key and the lock, and there's the little butterfly button that goes on it. I think that's so cute. I love that so much. So that's the kit, and the kit actually comes with um, all the over dyed floss. So I'm going to keep the kit. This was a um, special edition kit, there's not very many of them out there. So I'm going to keep this. This will be the one that's actually for myself. Um, it's a good way for me to practice using over dyed flosses. Um, I'm trying to kind of step up my game, like I said, a little bit, step outside my comfort zone and try something new. Um, and it was really, really hard to find this kit. So I'm going to keep this kit. Um, now, what you're going to be getting in the giveaway, because it's going to be you, I know it, you're going to get lucky, is you are going to get um, the Secret Garden. Um, this is going to be the pattern and it also comes with the charms and the button. So you're going to get the two charms, the button, and this is totally unused, totally brand new in packaging. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, the pattern and everything is included in there. All of the instructions that you need in order to complete this. So this does not have the threads. It does not have the fabric, but it comes with the charms, the pattern. And what I also did was I also included the special gift. So my kit actually came with an exclusive gift that you get in the kit. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be handing that lovely gift off to you, to the winner. So you will get to see when you open this, a special little surprise. And on the back here, it actually shows all of the different sampler threads um, that you can, um, the hand dyed threads or over dyed threads that you can actually purchase. But it also does have the conversion for DMC and Anchor, which I thought was really great. Um, it also gives you some options down below if you are looking to do specialty stitches in this. So there are a few different things like the little grassy areas and stuff that are kind of along the sides and along the top there that you can do in satin stitches and stuff. So it gives you a few different options to really make this special and to really, really make this your own. So I am super, super excited to give this away to you guys. Just make sure that you follow the rules that number one you are a subscriber. Number two, you're over the age of 18 or you have permission by your parents. Um, I am opening up to, to this um, um, internationally. So no matter where you live, I will ship this to you. Um, you will not have to pay the shipping on this. And um, what I want you to do is comment down below. Which needles do you use? Do you use kit needles? Do you use a certain brand of needles? What size do you use? And why do you like them? as we talk about this for the rest of the video. So I'm so excited to do this and um, I wanna thank you guys for all being subscribers and like I said, for being super supportive. So this is absolutely my pleasure to do this for you. And um, I will be closing this on October 16th. So you have until um, October 16th at midnight is what I will do. Um, October 16th at midnight will be the time that this closes. So congratulations and good luck. So moving on from that, that's kind of the majority of my new pattern haul and everything. Let me move this out of the way. And now I'm going to go on to my magazines. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, I also forgot a piece of haul. So the other thing that I got that was haul was um, Brooks Books. So Brooks Books is actually doing a... Um, um, a sale right now. She's going to be putting out basically these dress up princess ball gowns. So they're going to be after the Disney princesses and they are, um, 
she's doing a sale right now. I think they're normally $128 or something, and she's doing them on sale for $48 right now. It's 60% off the price. It's going to be for the patterns. You can get them digital or you can get them hard copy. They are, there's no difference in the price. Um, so you do pay shipping, I think $2 shipping for hard copies of them. Um, but if you are interested, go to Brooks Books Publishing on Etsy, and she is selling those. I did purchase those, but I obviously don't have any um, right now. They are 12 different designs and um, Brooke does an amazing job with her pattern so I know that they're going to be beautiful and they're going to be just the dresses the ball gowns um, and the um, crowns for each of the 12 princesses that she is doing and um, I am just way 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 excited about that let me see if I can find real quick for you guys who the princesses are going to be um, they are going to be the patterns themselves are actually going to be released in November um, it's called the um, Brooks Books presents the fairy tale princess dress up collection. So you can see they are here and she is going to release them whoops, once a month. Those are all of the different princesses that she is going to be doing. And it's a 60% off pre-sale, like I said, $48. And just make sure whenever you are paying for these that you know whether or not you want the hard copy or you want the digital patterns. Um, you don't want to purchase one or one without the, uh, you know, you don't want to purchase the hard copy if you really want the digital or vice versa. So just make sure it can be a little bit tricky um, to see that clearly. But I'm really, really excited about that. Those are going to come out once a month starting in November of 2016. And um, I'm really excited. This is probably going to be one of my products that I do next year. Just depending upon the size of them, I will probably stitch one of these per month. My grandmother always collected fairy tale um, princess um, statue kind of figurines. And... Um, I want to do something like that in my house. I would love to have these and kind of frame them up together um, in my house. I think that would be awesome. And they're going to be blinged out. They're going to have beads. They're going to have krennic. They're going to have ribbon. They're going to have all sorts of stuff. So they're going to be really, really beautiful. Um, and one thing she did say too is they are not going to be the exact ball gowns that you see in the Disney movies. They are going to be Brooke's own interpretation um, of what the princess ball gowns will look like. So um, if you've seen Brooke's stuff before, you know that they're going to be absolutely beautiful. She has done some um, dress up collection stuff before, so you certainly can go to her Etsy page and see there, and those will. Um, those will be there for you to see if you kind of want to get an idea um, for what they look like. So I did purchase that. I did pre-purchase that. So um, I thought that was a really good price. Couldn't resist. It was like four in the morning and I got up and I was like, I have to get it. So I did. Um, the next thing I'm going to go through is going to be a little bit of magazine haul. Um, as I do every um, month, just show you a few different patterns out of the magazines that I have gotten. And the first one that I have for you is the World of Cross Stitching. This is going to be the September of 2016 version. This is, for those of you who are looking for this magazine, this is going to be a um, limited edition subscriber cover. And um, so the cover may look a little bit different if you buy this on eBay. This by far was probably my absolute favorite one that has come out thus far. Um, a large majority of the patterns are ones that I would stitch for my own home. So the first one is going to be the one that's on the front. It's called Pick of the Posies. Um, and this is by Claire Comerford. Com I can't pronounce that. But that's the pattern that's on the front that I really love. And actually what I thought was kind of surprising was that there's Krennic and stuff in the bottoms of the bowls. So it kind of makes it look like the water sparkles. So I thought that was really cool. That's a big... Pattern. The next thing is going to be um, one called Treat Yourself, and this is by Shannon Wasalef. Wasalef? So sorry, Shannon, if I'm mispronouncing that. But one thing I'm a sucker for, too, is stitching desserts. And you'll notice that kind of from some of the different patterns that I show. And I think that's really cute. They also had a really, really cute idea to actually just break it up to do like a little card or something. And to just do like a little dessert. And I believe, I believe that this design is available online. Yes, it's a free chart that's available online. The World of Cross Stitching. So if you're interested in that, you can get that. And then the next pattern um, is called Grand Designs. And this is by Amanda Gregory. And this is Peacock. Beautiful. 
You can probably turn that into a pillow. That's really pretty. Then, last one that's in here that I really like is called Welcome Neighbor, and this is by Doreen Jones. And I love the bright colors in this. All these little tree houses. I just think that's really lovely. Like, really cute. Not sure that my husband would like that, but I think it's cute. So, love that. So, I love that one. And um, this, the September magazine, and I should be getting October very soon, um, did come with a couple of goodies. First of all, it came with a World of Cross-Stitching thread cutter, which would have been really, really great for when I was traveling because I was really, really nervous about bringing um, scissors on the plane. So this would have been great to have. So it's got, you can sort of see little razors in between each of the petals um, to cut, and then there's a little cord to actually wear it around your neck. Um, so it came with that, which, like I said, will be good for traveling. And then it came with a luxury chart of this really, really pretty flower. That is really pretty. That back. The next thing that I did was I actually purchased a magazine, and this goes along with kind of my pastry theme of things. While I was doing some shopping on Stash Unload, um, this is a cross stitch and needlework magazine, and I love this pattern. I've seen a stitcher on YouTube, and I haven't seen her videos in a while. I don't remember exactly what her name was, um, but she did this design. And this is the Cross Stitch and Needlework Spring 2015 magazine, and um, I guess it's patisserie is what it's called. Gosh, I'm so bad at French. <laughs> but it's another um, dessert themed pattern that I thought was really pretty. So Jessie Marie is actually the one who was selling these magazines online. And she still, she had quite a few of them. So if you're interested in this, go on Stash on Load or contact her. She may have some more of these left. Um, I thought that was a really, really cute pattern. And um, don't really like any of the, of the other patterns in the magazine. But um, she was a little bit late on shipping some of this stuff to me. So she actually, she wasn't feeling well. Um, she actually gave me a freebie, um, threw some freebies in a little bag and gave them to me. So there's all sorts of different kinds of silks. Um, variegated threads and over dyed threads that are in here. So I thought that was really nice. So thank you, Jessie Marie. That was really sweet of you to do that. Um, it had most sale, um, these, these like pink silks that are in there that are super soft, um, super, super soft. So I'm going to have to find something to work, um, with these on. So thank you, Jessie. Really appreciate it. Um, so there was that magazine. And then I, gosh, I have just been racked with so many wonderful things. Um, my stitchy friend, Amanda, hi Amanda, um, Sarar, she is um, kind of my stitchy friend in my local area that I had gotten one of her magazines in the mail. Well, she happened to get duplicate magazines for two of her magazines for um, uh, for this past month. So she actually gave them to me as a, um, as a little bit of a gift. So I thought that was really, really nice. So the first one that she gave me is the Just Cross Stitch October 2016 magazine and for those of you who haven't seen it or are debating looking at it the one really great thing about this magazine is all the designs are in the back of the book so you can see I'm gonna try to so I love these little chalkboard designs so I'll kind of slowly hold them up for you to see and the Hardanger piece is really pretty So those are all the different patterns in that magazine. There's a few in there that I think that I like that I would stitch. And then the next one that she gave me was super, super nice. She got a second um, copy of the um, Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments for 2016 edition. So I know I have seen this out there. I'm kind of trying to cover up Amanda's address here. Um, and I'm going to flip through this really quickly so everybody can kind of see all the different designs that are in here. There's a few different sections. This is the Here Comes Santa section. And I believe this up here is a prairie schooler, that one kind of at the top. It's a prairie schooler design. There's those. 
they do have, I noticed, really, really good finishing instructions on all of these. Um, this is called Come All Ye Faithful instruction. I like to always see what comes in the magazines before I buy them. Um, I'm glad that I have my World of Cross Stitching magazine, but some of these other specialty magazines, sometimes it's like, eh, there's not too much that I like in there, and it's not worth the cost. These magazine subscriptions, especially if you live in the U.S., just cross stitch is really inexpensive. That's um, the Frosty the Snowman section, and then I think this is the last section, it's called Jingle Bells. Kind of give you a little bit of an overview um, of that section. Wait, is there more? If I mess up, I did mess up. This one is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. And what's really cool too in this magazine is in the back a lot of the designers have um, listed their favorite dessert, um, favorite recipes, holiday recipes, which I thought was really cool. This one is called the Friendly Beasts. No, I do love that one that says Peace on Earth with a Little Lamb. The designer from Tempting Tangles, if you're wanting to know what their pieces look like, this one is um, Attempting Tangles design, which is really pretty. It's called Be Joyful. It's really cute. Um, I think so. I think that's right. Um, yep. The Be Joyful one is Attempting Tangles. Um, and this one is Joy to the World. But yeah, they have finishing instructions on all of these different pieces. So, get stitching. So I thought that even if I don't stitch all of these, I thought that was really, really, really great. Um, and then you can kind of see towards the back of the magazine are all of these recipes, and there's pages of them. All these different recipes of all these different cookies and cakes and all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to show all that, but um, I thought that was super cool. But there are really, really good stitch illustrations here for stitching. If you're curious how to do any of these specialty stitches or you're curious how to do Hardanger, um, there's actually two pages of that. There's a whole other second page that illustrates that, so I thought that was really cool. Um, so I will definitely be actually using that probably as more of a resource than anything. Um, so, I think that is all of my haul. That's all my magazine haul. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to talk about needles. So, um, for those of you who are not interested in talking about needles, bye. I will see you next month. For those of you who are interested in staying, um, stay for a couple extra minutes. This isn't going to take very long. I just kind of want to talk about my experience. So, when I started stitching, um, I used to just use, I used to just stitch kits. So, and I've been stitching for about a year, um, a little over a year. Um, I was just stitching kits and I was just using the needles in there. One thing that I noticed was sometimes, and someone had mentioned this to me, is that the needles that come in the kit sometimes are too big. And so as I would pull the needle through the fabric is it would create bigger holes in the fabric. And so if I messed up and had to go and frog something and redo it, I started to notice that my, um, that you could see the holes where I had punctured um, the fabric. Now, as I washed it, um, it got to be a little bit better, but I just, decided that maybe I needed to start using other needles. One recommendation that I had seen um, after I had posted something about it on Facebook a long time ago was that some of the ladies were saying that they stick to one size needle. There are good needle charts that you can find um, online really quickly. I even think the world of cross stitching has um, a section in it that talks about needle size with fabric size, but one of, a lot of the ladies had mentioned all they use are just tw size 28 needles, and they use size 28 needles on um, 
everything. And that makes it really simple for them, really easy for them to know it, you know, that it's the same needle each time. They can use needle from project to project to project without having to worry. So um, I decided that that's what I was going to do. Well, there were the needles that I kind of, I just decided that I was just going to buy needles that were at my um, like local, you know, big name shops like Target, Walmart, etc. And um, what I found at Michael's, Hobby Lobby and stuff even too were these size 28 DMC needles. I think um, Hobby Lobby actually uses, and I got a few different needles and I don't use these at all. Um, are these size 26? The Yarnology is the name of the company that um, they use at Hobby Lobby. But this is what you'll see at Michael's. This is what you'll see at Walmart, etc. Where these size 28 needles. Now I'm going to move this real quick on my computer because I want to pull up my document. So, um, move this over here. Move that over there. Okay. So, um, what I found with these needles, um, these DMC needles, they come in a pack of five. Um, here in the United States, they are sold for about $1.35, which comes out to about $0.27 cents per needle. They are 1 and 1 8 inches long, the size 28 needles. And um, I thought that these were going to be fine. I stitched actually the majority of a project on these um, and didn't really quite have a problem until I started to notice something. And it was that my needle started to bow. I use needle threaders. Some of you guys don't, so you probably don't have this problem, but if you use a needle threader, you're going to find that these needles in particular, they bend and bow um, really quickly. And even after you've pulled them through the fabric and pulled your string and done all that kind of stuff, they start to have a tendency to bow a little bit. Um, and then I started working on some other projects and noticed that these tarnished really quickly. Um, I was flying through a pack of these needles um, pretty quickly through projects as they started to tarnish and as they tarnish as basically the little the shiny kind of silver part of the needle rubs off they become harder to pull through the fabric um and they don't feel as good they don't slide through the fabric as easily um so I started having problems with the tarnishing and then I also had a problem where I started using some of these needles and I would break the eye of the needle as I was threading it and the needle itself felt really short to me it did not feel I did not feel like I had a good grasp on the needle so it actually hurt my hand after a while to try to feel like I was grabbing onto them some of you ladies actually prefer petite size needles or smaller needles um and so these needles might work for you but they they really didn't work for me so that's when I started looking at some other brands I went on eBay um, to actually see what I could find and there were two brands in particular that um, people consistently um, mentioned that were um, needles that they really liked and those two needles probably to no surprise are going to be the Bowen needles and are going to be the John James needles now the first needles that I bought were actually the John James. I bought the size 28 and these are the gold plated needles. People have talked about the strength and durability of these needles and at the time that I was looking at them I thought maybe they wouldn't tarnish as quickly. So um, I purchased these. The John James gold plated needles, I purchased these off of eBay. Um, they come in a pack of three. Um, it was $5.95 for the needles that I purchased, um, which comes out to about $1.98 per needle, so significantly higher in cost than the $0.27 cents per needle that I was paying for the DMC. These do also come in non-gold plated as well. If you're interested in just getting the non-gold plated, I am not sure about the cost of those. You can buy those in bulk. Um, I have seen Have It On Earth. Um, they actually set, now sell um, John James needles um, in bulk, the non-gold plated, and these in particular, these these gold plated needles that I purchase are um, about one and a quarter inches so they are a quarter of an inch longer than the DMC I really love these um, they are much 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 stronger than the DMC needles I did not have problems with them breaking the eye of the needle was also a little bit bigger made it easier for me to actually pull my string through um, love 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 these needles um, never had a problem with them bending um, they lasted for me through, I have stitched with one of these through my watercolor wreath and I think through the end of another project that I used a, 20, a size 28 needle on and um, it lasted me for a while, probably for about a couple of months stitching with this and then it did start to tarnish. 
and as it started to tarnish I kind of got disappointed um, it glides through the fabric really easily but as it started to tarnish it, it did have a little bit more of a problem but not as much of a problem as the DMC did um, but I did start to get a little disappointed I was like well these are not going to last me as long as um, as long as I anticipated them to so I decided maybe I would go ahead and try some other needles when I purchased my Karen water lilies for my new mirabilia that I just purchased I decided that I was going to go ahead and I was going to try the needle that everybody raves about which are the Bowen size 28 needles um, these you can purchase in bulk I think you can even purchase like up to a thousand of them online for a very reasonable price um, this package here which is kind of the standard package that you get from 123 stitch this is going to be six needles that are in this package um, the six needles come out to two dollars and 39 cents which um, per needle is 40 cents a piece so just to recap DMC is 27 cents a piece these are 40 cents a piece so these are about 13 cents a piece um, a little bit more expensive the John James gold plated needles were almost two dollars a needle so you can purchase these in bulk um, these are also the same length as the John James that was the one thing that I really really loved about the John James was I loved the length of the size 28 needles these are also size um, these are also one and one quarter inch in length um, so they are really really easy for me to grab onto they slide through the fabric really well they do thread the needle very very well I will tell you the only I have been using this needle now for at least three weeks um, on my watercolor wreath I have not had any problems with it tarnishing I have not had any problems with it bending I have not had any problems with it breaking now I have not used these for very long um, so I have not seen it tarnish yet but I'm sure it will over time I will tell you these do not feel as strong as the gold plated um, I do feel like after time that my needle will start to bow they are significantly stronger than the DMC but they um, I do feel like after a while these will take a beating and that's probably to be expected because they are not the gold plated version but I would say for those of you who are looking for a um, um, reasonably priced needle that is going to be significantly stronger than your kit needle or significantly stronger than the DMC I highly suggest you get the Bowen I have found these on eBay you can get them on Amazon or you can get them on 123 stitch I have found them in all those places at the same point in time heaven and earth has also started selling Bowen needles in bulk so you can purchase a ton of these so if you're overseas you don't want to pay shipping every time all that kind of stuff I suggest you look at buying them in bulk spend the 50 60 70 dollars however much it could cost to get you a ton of these to last a lifetime. So that is just my little um, PSA about needles. So I hope that that was helpful um, for you guys. I know when I was shopping for needles, it was something that was a little bit more difficult for me. Um, but what I'm probably going to do at this point is I'm going to stick with the John James gold plated or I'm going to stick with the Bowen. Probably after doing my research and finding out the cost, the Bowen needles are probably what I am going to stick with. Um, I may at some point try the John James, the non-gold plated needles, um, and see if I like them. The only thing I was disappointed about with these was just that they did start to tarnish after a while. So um, I just don't feel like it justified $2 per needle. So I will probably stick with these or stick with the other, the John James, because I do think, looking at it, I really can't tell much of a difference between the two. But for some reason, I do really like the shape of the eye for the John James. It's kind of squared off a little bit at the top. And so I feel like it would be a little less likely to break the eye. But I don't think anybody's had problems with that with Bowen. So that's why I want to know for my giveaway. Please comment down below um, because I would love to know what your thoughts are on, um, on your needles. Or maybe you love the DMC and you've stitched with these and haven't had any problems. But um, for me, it's just been... I've had a few issues with with the DMC needles, so I wanted to try something else. I do know they do sell the DMC needles in gold plated as well, so maybe those are a little better. But for me, I really, really love the length of the other needles. So that's what I'll be sticking to. So that's all that I have for today. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I will be back for an October update. Please make sure you comment down below if you're interested in the giveaway that I am very, very excited and honored to be able to share with you all. And I hope you have a wonderful stitchy week and I'll see you again soon. Bye.